Here's another rule of thumb. A dew point differential of 10 degrees Fahrenheit is approximately 70 degrees relative humidity. And there's no air around 60F. So if you take 60F dry bulb and it's 70% humidity, relative humidity, the dew point is 50, which is a delta of 10 degrees here. And if I go take here, it's 70 degrees F, and I go up, it, assume it's 10 degree drop for the dew point, the humidity is about, say, 72. Here at 80, the air is still about 2% off. Go at about 90, it's about, say, maybe 3 degrees, 3% 3 uh, off, 73 uh, RH. So at 90 degrees, or 90F here, in 70% humidity, the dew point is actually around 79 degrees, which is an 11 degree differential. So you get about a 10% error in temperature. But this is an old rule of thumb. It's in some ancient books, pre-World War II, actually. And it's got, here if you go at 50 degrees F, the dew point here, and at 40, it reads about, uh, say, 69, 68.5%, just estimating. Here it is at 45 degrees F, dew point of 35. It's a little bit lower than the 70% rule. So this line here of 70% relative humidity is roughly a good swag as it's a 10 degree differential between the dry bulb and the dew point. The dew point here is if you take this point here the air and you cool it off that's where dew would form again there's the 10 degree difference 60 dry bulb 50 dew point and there's the 70 percent humidity they actually use this in some control systems eons ago and it just happens to be it's a kind of a seat of the pants approximation it's actually fairly good from the slide rule era so if somebody says it's 80% humidity outside and you said, well, if you went ahead and just measured the dew point and it's a 10 degree differential, there it is, fairly good approximation, you're within 70% uh, humidity. This is the train psychometric chart from 1960 and it's in the English model.